Serious redditors who've survived a kidnapping. What's your story? My situation was kind of a kidnapping by my mother. My parents separated when I was in second grade, but didn't finalize the divorce until the summer before sixth grade. In fifth grade, I was living with my dad and visiting my mom on weekends. Easter weekend, my mom handcuffed me to a bed and wouldn't let me go home. When my dad came to get me, she told him I didn't want to live with him anymore, but was too shy to tell him myself. This was believable because I hate D. Confrontation. She kept me handcuffed to the bed for a few days, I guess waiting for me to calm down. She discord me to the bathroom and kept me fed and watered. One morning while my mom was asleep, I was able to wiggle my hand out of the cuff and I ran away to a gas station and called my dad at a payphone. I don't even know how I knew his number. My dad came to get me immediately, but my mom had woken up and followed me. It was the closest gas station and I walked up there all the time growing up. She got there before my dad did and was screaming at me and trying to pull me into her car. My dad eventually came and I pushed my mom down and jumped into his car. We drove off, headed back to his house. On the way home, we were stopped and surrounded by several cop cars. I don't remember how many. Apparently my mother had called the cops, saying my dad had kidnapped me. The cops kept asking me questions, but I was crying so much I was probably unintelligible. I don't remember how everything was resolved. My dad didn't get in trouble, but amazingly neither did my mom. She remained a constant toxic presence in my life until shortly after my 23rd birthday, when I cut her out completely. I was 18, in college, hanging out with these two boys on campus. They invite me back to their dorm room to chill and eager for friends and attention. I agree to go. Once in the room, it was kindly suggested to me at gunpoint that I accompany them on a short trip to pick something up. I had no choice but to go along. I went. Backseat. Child locks on. Guns in car. They're smoking who knows what. Three hour car ride across two state lines peppered with sexual assault. They stop at a friend's house to acquire some illegal substances and take me to another person's house for the night. I'm encouraged to smoke with them and it turns out to be some opium slash hash mix. I proceed to endure further assault about which I didn't care, yay drugs, and then puke my guts out while they kicked me and screamed at me to keep my noise down, yay drugs. Then the best, most hilarious episode of Rosine came on, I have no idea which one. Only that drugs made it the funniest show ever, and at some point I passed out. Woke up being ushered into the backseat again. More sexual assault. The driver almost drove us into another vehicle, and then careened us almost off the road, which would have sent us into deep water, and killed us all. At which point I snapped, not giving a shit about potentially being shot, and dumped in the middle of nowhere, and gave them a good screaming at, like I was their mother instead of their victim. I guess the near death experience for them sobered them the fuck up. I don't know, but they apologized and agreed to take me home, not back to campus. I gave them a random address way away from my own home, and pretended like I lived there, trespassed to enter around back, and straight up fled at the first opportunity. I never saw them again. Not on campus. Not anywhere. I never reported them, or inquired as to their whereabouts. It was a horrible surreal nightmare, and I went through it like a waking dream, trying to rationalize at every turn, in as much denial as I could muster until that almost car wreck. Probably should be under a throwaway, but whatever. This is my trauma. I can own it. I grew up on a carnival in the early to late 60s and my parents were really bad people. My dad sold my sister and myself to an older couple in Canada, while the show was in Buffalo. They paid my dad and away we went with them. They had us for about a week when as I remember we were all sitting on a back porch and the Mounties came riding up with my dad after my dad told them we were kidnapped. They went to jail, and we went home with our father. I remember just a little about the incident, but my sister was a couple years older, and remembers much more. We were not hurt at all, and she says they were very nice to us. My dad was a Chrysias hoodlum and my mom was worse. They both ended up in jail for a long time. But when they got out we were turned over to them, and dad ended up leaving the carny life, and settling down in Georgia. My mother left us, when I was 8, and I never saw her again until her death last year. My dad is dying now and none of us kids actually care. That is sad, 
but we all have our reasons. I come from a rich family and was kidnapped while I was fixing my motocross bike in my garage. My garage, let that sink in. Pretty sure it was an inside job because the two armed guards at the gate had to suddenly go to the toilet and forgot to lock the auto gate system. But anyway, the kidnappers were actually pretty nice to me and didn't really hurt me other than bag over the head and handcuffs. They kept me fed and I had plenty of water. I was with them for a total of 5 days while my parents got together the ransom. I should you not it was like the movies in terms of the drop off and that was the end of that. Got home safe and sound with no injuries. They were never caught as I suspect they were part of a crime ring as they were very professional in terms of what they did and how they did it. I am copying SND pasting my answer from a previous thread. I was kidnapped 5 years ago. I was released and harmed after one night. The men are now in prison. The first 20 minutes in the car with those men I knew I was going to die. I was certain they intended to rape me, and I knew with everything in me, I was never going to let that happen. Considering they had a gun and meat cleaver I figured they were gonna have to kill me when I fought off the rape. I prepared myself for it. After 20 minutes they let me sit up. They made me keep my head down, so I couldn't see where they were taking me, and then they were incredibly nice to me. They let me pee in someone's front yard, bought me a pop at a gas station, and showed me YouTube videos on a phone they stole. They bought crack, and offered me some, I declined. One guy asked for my number, so he could take me out sometime, to make up for taking me. They talked shit about how my BF let them take me, they broke into his apartment, and took me, after they robbed us. Eventually, in the morning, they drove me to the address I told them was my home. It was an old apartment I used to live in, and let me go. I knew I was safe after those first 20 minutes, after talking to them, I realized they weren't evil just stupid fucking drug addicts that let a robbery get out of hand. People assume it was the worst thing that ever happened to me, and they are partially right. But the experience wasn't the worst part. I figured out how to manipulate the men that took me pretty quickly. The worst part was the next day calling my parents and telling them. I calmly started explaining the situation as best I could and my very military-esque father, whom I have never seen cry not even over his mother's death, interrupted me and said in a totally straightforward emotionless way, Ratchface 636, did they rape you? They didn't. But hearing my father have to ask his only daughter, that question was the worst moment of my life. A father should never have to muster the strength to say those words. By the way, kids, don't ever smoke crack. When I was younger my dad literally kidnapped me from my mom and wouldn't let her have me. He hid me in the basement and my grandparents, and so my mom called the cops and six cop cars ended up surrounding my grandparents house they broke and he door tackled my dad and searched the house until they found mine in a little room under the stairs where my dad had made me stay. While it's not your typical kidnapping it still was considered kidnapping. Years ago, I was 16 and early for school, so I went to my secret journaling spot behind a Burger King that was across the street from my school. I sat down and started writing in my journal. A few minutes later this older dude walks up. He asks hey, do you like marijuana? And shows me a large bag full of mex weed. Being a dumb 16 year old stoner, I say sure. He says let's smoke in my truck and points to her an old yellow truck parked in the corner of the empty parking lot. I told him that I didn't want to get in his truck, but we could sit behind it and smoke. He was okay with that, and we sat in the corner of the parking lot and he rolled a joint. We smoked about half of the joint, and he said I think I hear the cops, let's get in the truck. I was mildly paranoid and dumb enough to go along with it. We sat in his truck and continued smoking the joint. Eventually, he says no school for you today and reaches over me to lock my door. I didn't like that and unlocked the door and told him that I was indeed going to school as he began to pull out of the parking lot. I screamed, stop the fucking car, a few times but it became clear that he wasn't going to as he turned onto the main road and began to accelerate. I opened the door and dived out onto the street. He wasn't going too fast yet, so I was okay. I proceeded to go to school and not tell anyone but a few close friends. I really regret this looking back. That predator should have been reported, but I was afraid to get in trouble because of the weed. 
happened to me when I was a kid. My parents were involved with the loan sharks in the area, and I was kept as insurance that they'll pay the money they owe. They picked me up from our front yard. At the time, I didn't know I was kidnapped. I only knew that I went to stay with an uncle who had like 4 girlfriends, crack whores, and a lot of roommates who swore a lot. They didn't touch me. On the contrary, they kept me well fed and some of them gave me a barbie to keep my occupied while they did their business in the other rooms. I kept demanding where my mommies, and they kept assuring me that mommy will come and pick me up. That they just need to finish something first. In the end, I stayed with them for like a week before my dad got me out. I remember my mom and dad crying a lot as we went home. That was one of my earliest memories and I can never forget it. My dad and his second wife kidnapped us when I was in first grade and my older sister was in third. They took us to Seattle, Wafram Street, Louie. My mom and grandparents got a pie to track us and my mom, stepdad and pie came to the school they enrolled us in and took us home. Nothing life threatening. Our dad's wife found out she couldn't get pregnant, so they took us instead. Today they have two adult sons who weren't conceived until about 7 and 9 years later. We've had very little contact with him our entire lives. Not life threatening, but my father attempted to kidnap me when I was 2 or 3. My mom reported me missing, and my father had a warrant out for his arrest. I barely remember any of it but this part. My father took me to Chuck E. Cheese, and as we were leaving my mom just so happened to be leaving a store in the same shopping center. My mom ran over, and my father tried to quickly roll up the window. Well, my mom broke the window, shredding her palm. She still has a star-shaped scar that looks kind of cool, and ripped me out of the car which dislocated my shoulder. My father got out of the car and my mom started screaming for help and someone said they were calling the police. My father got back in his car and left and my mom and I just hugged each other and cried until the cops got there. I remember one of them buying me a ring pop but that's all. When I was a boy about 10 years old, one day I was riding my bike along a busy road. An older boy stepped in front of me, stopping me, and took over riding with me on the back. Rode us to a couple of miles to a secluded spot near railway tracks, sexually assaulted me at knife point, robbed me of the few dollars I had, and eventually released me. I told nobody about this, not for another 10 years. That's had some lifelong repercussions, I think. It affected how I felt about myself, sex, and other relationships. It was a mistake not to talk about it and seek help. In my Catholic family, sex was taboo, and I felt as though I had transgressed and couldn't talk about it. I'm not making the same mistake with my children. I'm posting here not because I feel a need to tell my story, but to say, if you're a victim, please talk to somebody. If you're a parent, foster an environment in which your kids feel safe in talking about the most difficult topics. Depends on what you consider a kidnapping, but my friends had a nasty divorce. My mother took me and my sister out of school and dragged us across the country. I was even going to school by the time CPS found us a month later. 